guys, in this video today I'm going to be showing you Graphic Converter for Mac. Um, so this app is actually around $40, but um, it is worth every cent, and let me show you why. Uh, so being that it, it, this app itself weighs over 100 megabytes, um, I really like it that it launches into a menu screen rather than launching into a, you know, a full app itself. Uh, so we have a few options here. I'm just going to go ahead and um, do a basic uh, image. So go ahead and just for the sake of this video, I'm going to open an image. See, I have this Apple logo. Uh, I like the um, background. So let me go ahead and select it in the selector tool. And this is basically a um, <coughs> uh, an easy way to edit photos uh, on your Mac and um, plus a lot, of, uh, a lot of other things. So let's go ahead and make a new um, project. Go ahead and paste the, um, the image we just copied. Uh, and now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make a banner for my YouTube channel. Um, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and start typing and with text. And they have a lot of fonts here that you could choose from. Um, but I like this one. So I'm going to go ahead and put um, let me just change the color to black. So, um, black. Okay. So, <clears throat> Apple up eight. Now, um, I like it like this. So I'm going to go ahead and change the size a little to maybe 96. Right, let's just go here and make it a mere 96 points. Uh, so let's drag it on to our photo and now from here <coughs> we can make it a little bit smaller uh, so what I'm going to do is select the text and maybe seven I could edit it to um, my liking so I'm gonna go ahead and change it to around 89 um 89 is fine so let's go ahead and drag it to, to here Center it. Let's go ahead and yeah, it's centered. Um, <clears throat> so now what we're gonna do is go ahead and add some text on the bottom here. We'll make a uh, new text. We're gonna write uh, Twitter. Okay, so now that we have Twitter, we're gonna go ahead and make it smaller. I like 36 for Twitter. Go ahead and make it 36. Okay, so let's go ahead and drag it on to um, there and as you can see it has <clears throat> there's a little box here that says text objects uh, and it shows us like you know what we have in text on the um, image so we'll go ahead and try to write that. maybe put it on there um, a new one maybe uh, Facebook go ahead and drag this on to around here and now we have Google Plus and go ahead and drag it onto here and then we have website and go ahead and drag it to here um, now if you want you could have even more links or uh, even more text on the bottom here um, but I kind of I like it like this and you know with a lot of space uh, <clears throat> so let's go ahead and try and center it out make it look good okay so now, what I'm going to do is I want an Apple logo here and here. So I'm going to go to Google Chrome, go ahead and go to YouTube, and copy this Apple thing. Hey guys. And then, oops, click Google Chrome. Uh, okay, I'll go ahead and paste the Apple logo here. Uh, change the um, size to 96. No, we don't do 89 because that. Okay. So I'll change it 89. Okay, great. And go ahead and drag it on. Uh, now, again, we can go ahead and try and center this out so it'll fit with the Apple logo. Let's go ahead and add another one. Uh, so let's make it around 89. So 89, good. Um, drag it onto here. Uh, so that looks that looks good. 
Um, <clears throat> right there. Uh, okay, so as you can see, I just made a um, a banner for my YouTube channel in around I don't even know how much, but it was really quick process, um, maybe around three minutes. Uh, so there you go. You have a banner, um, and also if you understand anything in this, you could maybe uh, add a uh, website slice. So like if you want to, you know, maybe drag around here, you could go ahead and. Twitter and link it to your um, Twitter account. So um, let's see. Uh, oops. Okay. Go ahead. Oh wait, no. So you can't. Um, but that's that's basic um, photo editing. I mean, if you have an image, uh, you could go ahead and um, retouch it from here. Uh, and it'll give you like a nice, you know, look or whatever. Uh, so let's go ahead and show you some more features. I won't save that because I have a really nice one. If you want to see it, it kind of looks like this. Yeah, that's that, that's one I did earlier today. Um, and it has like its own background with it. Uh, so, <coughs> uh, okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and um, quit it because you have to quit out to get to this menu screen again. Uh, so you could go ahead and, and um, create a, a new image, open an image like we just did. Um, show a browser, do a start a slideshow, and I'm going to do a batch conversion. Okay, so anyways, over here, um, it's kind of like a, um, you have to, uh, how can I explain this? So it's what you're basically doing is you can you want to convert like immense amount of photos and um, put them in a folder. So over here we're just gonna find this folder. Um, we're gonna we're go, gonna go into iPhoto and then go into library photos and just go ahead and select maybe these two. And we're going to go ahead and convert them. Go ahead and click on go. And so right over here they converted to, to um, a JPEG photo. Uh, so let me let me just show you how to convert. So what, let's say you have your image so right here let's say I want these two images <clears throat> so in order to convert them you just want to um, convert you know press convert and they have like so many other options here if you don't want to convert instead but I want to convert so we're gonna go to destination format the format that we want to you know make it appear as uh, so we could make it all of these um, you know formats and we even have show all so like if you like are really advanced or whatever uh, so let's say I want to convert it into a PICT file. Go ahead and um, okay, I'm gonna select the images that I want. So I want these two. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on go, and this is the destination folder <coughs> right here. So right there, you can see that they were converted into a .pct file uh, in such a short amount of time. Uh, so let's say I want to go ahead and convert all of these images, um, which I, I don't. But if, let's say, you want to, they, they'll just pop here instantly. Uh, so that's that's a pretty cool feature. Um, and you could also, you know, uh, rotate left and right and whatever you want. Let's, see, let's say I wanted to uh, go ahead and convert this or edit it. All I have to do is open it up there. And by the way, I took this picture, so you know, if you like it, then there you go. Uh, so if you want to convert it to any file, or let's say we want to go ahead and um, I don't even know what any of this means. Uh, so I'm not gonna mess around. Maybe copy it. Copy, yeah, copy it. I want to copy this to here. That's that sounds simple. Uh, as a destination format? No, I don't. Okay, great. Right there. Copy. .jpg. .jpg. Uh, so that's that's pretty neat. Um. So let's go to more features. Let's just open it up again. Uh, now you can show a browser, and this is just good for um, if you want to like browse your photos without converting them uh, and stuff. I mean, it's not like a photo browser, but it's just if you don't want to like convert them. Uh, so let's go into iPhoto, and then we can go into events, and then let's say this event. I'm not going to show you that. Okay. Um. 
No. Let's see, but what's a good event if I could show you? Right here. Or no, no, not that. I didn't even know I had any of these pictures. Not this. Come on. Okay, so you know, let's just go into a random one. Perfect. Okay. So it's a photo browser, and if you just want to, let's say you want to select a photo, just click on it. And then you can edit it. But you know, I don't really want to do that. So um I guess here, yeah, right here, yes, I finally found a good one. A good um okay. So if you want to edit a photo, all you have to do again is double click. So uh you could edit it from the editing thingy that should be here. Uh so okay. So anyways, graphic converter is good for people that um they like run their own business and um you know, their business basically consists of uh, graphic arts. Uh and it's it's good for people who um you know, I don't have enough money to spend for Photoshop. Uh, so, yeah, that's basically it, guys. Don't forget to check me out at, um, my YouTube channel, I guess. And, uh, over here you could, uh, click this little annotation and it'll bring you straight to my, uh, YouTube channel. If you want to go ahead and check it out. Um, but thanks for watching and have a great day.